In our last video, we talked about this, the Korg Nano Control 2, and how you could get it to work out of the box with DaVinci Resolve. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use this device to record automation, so you can control volume and pan in your final audio mix. Ok, so I've opened DaVinci Resolve and here in the uh, edit window I've just got a very basic video here with uh, various bits of stock footage uh, and uh, some audio, three audio tracks, uh, some music um, and a couple of sound effects. And what I'm going to do is show you how you can use this control surface to very easily change audio settings, change pan, change volume control and preserve those changes through automation as part of your project. So. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the Fairlight tab and here you can see the three audio tracks and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on this little wavy line which will turn on automation and you'll see a whole bunch of different controls up here that enable you to automate uh, different settings within DaVinci Resolve. The things I'm going to focus on right now are fader and pan. So. I'm going to come down into the tracks that I want to affect. So this is what I want to do. I'm, what I want to do is, if you just listen to this real quick, the the sound of this rain comes in at the beginning, and then a little bit later on, the sound of the music comes in. So what I want to do is mix this so that you get the sound of the rain to begin with, and then that rain starts to disappear, and you find yourself listening just to the music. And the other thing I want to do with this music is have it come in from the left speaker for this bit, and the right speaker for that, left, right, until it balances out in the center. So I'm going to do those two things at the same time. So the first thing I'm going to do on this track is I'm going to choose um, what I want to automate. So I want to automate the left, right pan. And immediately you see this uh, little line has appeared on this track that shows the, the pan position, and that's central at the moment. And then when I come down to this track, I'm going to hit fader level because I want the fader level and as you see there um, it's at I guess it will probably be kind of like minus 10 dB something like that um, but it, it's set at a particular level of volume so to activate these tracks for recording I'm gonna hit the squiggly line and immediately you'll see that that has turned red and equally it's turned red there so we are now ready to record our automation it's important to note at this point that you don't have to hit the record button. You're just going to hit play and then you're going to work with your control service to affect the volume and it will record the changes live. So I'm going to hit play on my control service and then use the faders and the knobs to make the changes. So there's my really loud audio in the background of the, of the rain. And then I'm going to start fading this out and you'll see that starting to change until it's faded out. And then here's my uh, left and right, so I'm going to change that to right. And I'm going to move this to change it to left. And then I'm going to bring it back up here and into the middle. And then I'm going to hit stop. And you'll notice that those lines now go green because all those changes have been made. So if we play that back, I'll just take it from here because we don't hear all of that. You'll hear the, the thunder and rain starting to fade out. And then you'll hear the first piece of music coming in. And then it's going to pan. And then it's going to pan again. And that's it. A really quick, simple tutorial in how to automate in DaVinci Resolve using the Korg Control 2. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe 